Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name's Tom with Master Code Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to introduce you to dictionaries in Python. It's a, another data structure that we'll be taking a look at. Um, it's probably my favorite data structure. I use it quite often whenever I can. That's my default one I go to. And you guys will see as we walk, work through dictionaries why I use them. So. All right, so let's talk about dictionaries features for a little bit here. First off, dictionaries are mutable. That means we can change them once they are created. Uh, dictionaries can contain other data structures like lists, tuples, sets, and other dictionaries. Uh, dictionaries are a dynamic data structure, which means they can grow and shrink with our program. Um, there's no limit on the size as well. We can go as big as we want or as small as we want. Dictionaries are non-sequence type. That means they're in no specific order. With that being said, uh, dictionaries are not stored in any specific order. Uh, dictionary objects are accessed via key, not an index position. In the list and tuples and s that we looked at before, we um, access them via an index position, but with um, dictionaries we access them via the key. Uh, if you guys ever like worked with like JSON or um, arrays, uh, dictionaries are pretty similar to them. Um, and the cool part, and I think one of the main reasons I like working with dictionaries is because when I bring in, um, I do a lot of things with data with with uh, Django development and bringing data in and uh, spitting data back out. When I work with dictionaries, it's very similar to use um, to using JSON. So it makes life a lot easier when um, manipulating data inside your projects um, when a dictionaries kind of look like a uh, JSON um, structure. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at what a dictionary looks like. Let's go ahead and say um, we got a variable, we'll call it var, and that's going to hold our dictionary. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and create our dictionary. I'm going to kind of create a dictionary like this so it's a little easier for you guys to read. We don't have to set it up this way whatsoever. And I'll show you the shorthand way to set it up in a second. Um, so right here we got a dictionary. Um, I'm just putting a couple data points in here. Basically, the left hand side of this is called the key. And the right hand side is called the value. Notice that I put first value and first key. Second value, all right, and we're going to stop there because I don't feel like typing anymore. All right, so there we go. All right, so we got a dictionary, and a dictionary is indicated by the curly braces. And you may be saying, huh, didn't we just talk about sets? They had uh, curly braces. Well, that is true. All right, let me see var1 here for a second, and we're going to do an empty dictionary. This is not an empty set, all right? And if I do type on this and then pass in var1, I'm going to get a dictionary, all right? So this is not indicating to Python that that is a set or a dictionary. It's act well, actually, it's indicating it's a dictionary. It's not indicating it's a set. Um, the other way visually to tell that they're different is the colon. Um, if you notice a colon inside your in your data structure, that that's an indication to you that hey, that you're working with dictionaries. Um, and the way to create an empty set would be var one is equal to set like that, and then we do um, type uh, var one like that, and that would give us a set. So there is a different there is a difference between the two, and it's important to note that most of the time you're going to be working with a curly brace is most likely going to be a dictionary. All right, so back to the dictionary structure. We got on the left hand side a key, on the right hand side a value. All right, we access the key or the value via the key on the left hand side. So we would call first key, and we would get. The first value. For example, if I do var and I do square bracket and then I say first underscore key 
in there and then close out my square bracket and hit return, I'm going to get first value. So for us to access the value, we call the key. All right. Same thing with the second key. We can do that as well. Far square bracket. And then I'm going to go ahead and say second underscore key and get it return and get second value. All right, so that's the basics of a dictionary. Over the next several tutorials, we'll go ahead and step through um, all the features of a dictionary. I'll show you how to work with them, show you all the different types of things you can do with them, and show you how awesome dictionaries are. So if you guys have any questions about dictionaries in Python, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next several tutorials on dictionaries.